let's take a look at how the Freedom Fighter became a tiger. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure and check out the first video in this series which goes over the origins of the F5 and the development of the A and B models. The Northrop F5E Tiger II is a lightweight multi-role fighter which is an upgraded version of the F5A Freedom Fighter. Upgrades to the engines, avionics, and structural improvements allow the F5E to fly faster carry more fuel and weapons, and have significantly improved sensors. All of this was done while keeping the F5E an easy to maintain, inexpensive to fly, and highly maneuverable fighter. The F5E is still in use today as an aggressor or adversary aircraft by the US Navy and is still operational with over 25 countries. The Tiger II has and continues to make its mark on military aviation. Here are some specifications for the F5E. Following the success of the F-5A Freedom Fighter and the development of a thriving export market, Northrop set out to improve their design further. Meanwhile, seeking to keep export fighters on pace with advancing Soviet fighter developments, the United States issued requirements for the International Fighter Aircraft or IFA program. At this time, the Soviet Union was distributing its fast and capable MiG-21 fish bed to its allies and Warsaw Pact nations. The IFA program was implemented to develop a low-cost fighter that could counter the MiG-21. Northrop responded with the upgraded version known as the F-5A-21, and when they won the IFA competition, the aircraft was redesignated the F-5E Tiger II. The F-5E's upgrades began around the newest variant of the GE J-85 engine, of which two would be used. The GE-85-21 produced 5,000 pounds of thrust output and was a substantial increase from the earlier versions. Accommodating the new J-85s resulted in the F-5's fuselage being enlarged and lengthened, which also allowed for more fuel storage. The result was that the range was increased to over 1,500 miles and the new service ceiling was 51,800 feet. Staying true to its modular design philosophy, avionics were upgraded to the Emerson Electric AN-APQ-153 series radar and customers could install other systems as needed. The amount of ordnance that could be carried was increased to 7,000 pounds and leading edge extensions were added to enhance maneuverability as well. Additionally, takeoff distance was shortened by incorporating a system which allowed the nose gear to be raised 3 degrees prior to takeoff. The extension is controlled manually by the pilot and the nose wheel is automatically retracted as soon as weight is taken off of it or as part of the landing gear retraction process. With its first flight occurring in August of 1972, the new F-5E was given the nickname Tiger II. A two-seat trainer version was also developed and given the designation F-5F. And finally, a single-seat reconnaissance version with cameras in the nose was produced and designated the RF-5E Tiger Eye. More on that in an upcoming video. The F-5E is armed with two internal M39A2 20mm cannons. Additionally, four AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles and two AGM-65 Mavericks air-to-surface missiles can be equipped along with rockets mounted on the seven hardpoints. Bombs can also be used such as unguided iron bombs, 
CBU-2449528 cluster bomb munitions, napalm bomb canisters, and M129 leaflet bombs. All of these options allow the F-5E to perform a wide variety of missions and attack a vast range of targets. Aside from the engine upgrades, perhaps the biggest change from the F-5A to the E model were the avionics. Additions such as GPS, electronic countermeasures, an air-to-air -air fire control radar system, a lead computing gun sight, and an internal navigation system all contributed to modernizing the F-5. These upgrades made the fighter more lethal and survivable. By the time production ended, over 790 F-5E models were produced, with an additional 140 F-5Fs and 12 RF-5E Tiger Eyes. Other nations produced the F-5E and F under license. These included 308 in Taiwan, 91 in Switzerland, and 68 in South Korea. For the United States Air Force, the F-5E served from 1975 to 1990 as part of the 26th, 64th, 65th, and 527th Aggressor Squadrons. The U.S. Navy continues to use F-5Es as aggressors for its fighter weapons school to this day, and F-5Es were used as fictitious MiG-28s in the 1986 movie Top Gun. In 2006, the Navy purchased low-hour Swiss Air Force F-5E and F aircraft and modified the E model so much that they became designated the F-5N. Today, the F-5Ns are being operated as aggressors by VFC-13 at NAS Fallon, Nevada, VFC-111 at NAS Key West, Florida, and VMFT-401 at MCAS Yuma, Arizona. Internationally, the F-5E has served in many nations. These include Brazil, Kenya, Malaysia, which operated F-5Es as well as the Tiger Eye version, Mexico, the Republic of Korea, which currently operates 170 F-5Es and Fs, Singapore, which also operated F-5Es along with the Tiger Eye version and continues to use F-5s as trainers today. While the F-5E was initially conceived as an upgraded export version of the F-5A, both the United States Air Force and Navy made extensive use of the Tiger as an adversary aircraft. Prior to Vietnam, most Air Force and Navy air-to-air -air training was done with similar aircraft dogfighting each other. Following that war, it was discovered during the ALT report that kill ratios could be improved by implementing new training techniques. The ALT report recommended that dedicated air-to-air -air training units be formed to alleviate some of the problems encountered during the Vietnam War. The Navy was first to implement an Air Combat Maneuvering Program, or ACM, which ultimately evolved into Top Gun. The Air Force soon took notice and started a similar program at Nellis, which ultimately evolved into Red Flag. While the F-5Es were not the original aircraft used for Top Gun or Red Flag, they soon became the standard adversary aircraft. With its smaller size, high maneuverability, and skilled pilots, the F-5Es became deadly practice combatants that trained countless fighter pilots how to be better at air combat. It is a testament to the design and durability of the F-5Es that they are still being used by the Navy today. Not only that, but there are F-5Es that are being upgraded with advanced avionics to the point that they are being considered an all-new version, the F-5AT, or Advanced Tiger, which will be the subject of its own upcoming video. Aside from still being used as an aggressor aircraft by the United States, there are several nations today that count the F-5E as part of their frontline defense or trainers. Some nations like Thailand have upgraded their F-5Es to local versions and plan to keep them flying until at least 2030. What do you think? Is the F-5B still a viable fighter? Will the Navy ever find an easier to maintain, less expensive and effective adversary aircraft? Let me know in the comments below.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click on notifications to see when the next video in the F5 series comes out, where we will take a look at the F20, also known as the Tiger Shark.